Well, they say necessity is the mother of all invention. And for a couple of Lakeland moms, the need for something that's both functional and fashionable has led them to a very successful business. I sat down for a bit and talked to them about the success of their new yeah, startup company called Uber baby. Moms and a new honor they just received. <laughs> Amy Bonini and Lisa Ann Klein created fashionable baby wipe boxes. And they told me this all started from a simple conversation between friends. Now they're selling them internationally, and all of it started right here in the Bay Area. What do you think about, you know, starting a business and we come up with a pretty durable wipe case for baby wipes? That's a great idea. Yeah, that is a great and idea. And we took it from there. Off too. Yeah, yes. they're in Bye Bye Baby and na nationwide, as well as in Central and South America and in Canada, too. A little bit you can put Coming up tonight on News Channel 8 at 7, so more about setting. the honor those two women have garnered that landed them in a book, ironically, from an, ar an author that they used to get started in the first place. Life comes full circle. Don't forget, if you have a story, follow me on Facebook and Twitter and let me know about it. They say necessity is the mother of invention, and for a couple of Lakeland moms, the need for something that's functional and fashionable led to a successful business. As News Channel 8 morning anchor Rod Carter shows us, it's called Uber Moms, and the operation just got a nod from an industry insider. Can do it. A lot of patience. Amy yes. Bonini and Lisa Ann Klein told me they're the best of friends. Between them, they have five children, and those children are the reason behind a very successful business, the wipe box. They're decorative baby wipe boxes, which all started from a simple conversation. What do you think about, you know, starting a business and we come up with a pretty durable wipe case for baby wipes? That's a great idea. Yeah, that is a great and idea. And we took it from there. Off too. Yeah, yes. they're in Bye Bye Baby and na nationwide, as well as in Central and South America and in Canada, too. They sold 50,000 of these since just June alone. Developing a business strategy was sort of new to them. They both worked in other professions, but this was uncharted territory. It does seem like a real daunting task, but if you take it step by step, like the first thing was to set up an LLC, and we got a how-to book at the store, and by the weekend we had set that up. So I think if you don't look at it as like a big jump and just take it little step by little step, anybody can do it. That book, their business Bible, if you will, was written by Tamara Monosoff. Well, since they started that company in 2012, they've done so well. They are now featured in Monosoff's latest book, The Mom Inventor's Handbook. I didn't realize what a big deal it was until the launch actually came. We were getting so many emails from Tamara talking about the launch, and she was number one or number two on Amazon, I think, for a while. Yeah. Then I, I realized the importance of it. Yeah. An honor they cherish for a line of products they hope will wipe away the competition. Rod Carter, News Channel 8. Man, it makes you wonder, why didn't I think of that first? If you want to learn more about Uber Mom's business, you can visit their website. We posted a link on WFLA.com under links mentioned. You can also watch Rod in the mornings on News Channel 8 today. And if you have a story for him, follow him on Facebook and Twitter and let him know about it.